En dan vier man sterke delegatie van het hoofdkwartier van Israel United in Kruis vertoef momenteel in Suriname. Het doel van hun bezoek is de nazaten van de slaven in Suriname te herstellen en terug te doen keren tot de God van Israël. Daarnaast zullen er verschillende leerinstituten worden opgezet, zodat deze nazaten meer kennis over hun geschiedenis kunnen opdoen. De delegatie staat onder leiding van Bishop Nathaniel Israël. Hij vertelt meer over het bezoek. Uh, the purpose and expectation of this visit is to enlighten the children of the slave trade and colonialism to who they really are, according to the Holy Bible. They've been, I'll say, we've been a neglected people for centuries since the time of colonialism. And now it's time that they realize, our people realize how important they really are and they have a great future ahead of them. And our expectation is to have a sanctuary here in Surda, as well. Okay. Um, how are you going to convince the people of Suriname about their identity? Uh, through teaching, vocal teaching, face to face. Uh, what's the word? Uh, debates. We'll do that with our people uh, because there's what has happened is uh, there's something called the National Council of Churches. There's also a branch called the World Council of Churches where they dictate what scriptures mean. And many times, scriptures have a Eurocentric meaning behind it. That's how they've portrayed it. Like, for example, the identity of Jesus Christ. Uh, when you read Revelation chapter 1, verse 14 and 15, it says Jesus Christ has hair like wool. His skin was like burned in a furnace. That, that's a black man. De bishop onderbouwt ook dat de nazaten van slaven in alle landen stelselmatig en systematisch op diverse gebieden worden achtergehouden. Hierin zal er volgens hem een einde aankomen. Dit einde zal gebracht worden door Jezus die terugkeert op aarde om zijn volk, de echte Israëlieten, te redden. Aldus bishop Israël. So the Bible says the Israelites would go into slavery on ships and be scattered in all nations. This is how we got to Suriname. This is how we got to Guyana. This is how we got to the Netherlands, America, Brazil, even Iraq, Iran. They have scattered our people everywhere. So this is why Christ said, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because the Israelites went into slavery in all these nations. It was all predicted. Yes, it was all prophesied predicted, as you said. And this is what the churches reject. They'll start with, like when you read a book, where do you start reading? From the middle or from the beginning? From the beginning. In Christianity, they say, start with Matthew. And you don't need to read the Old Testament. So most people, you read Matthew and go, go therefore and teach on the post for everybody. But when you read the prophecies, it's because the Israelites went into slavery in all nations. And it's the fulfillment is now in this time. So this is what the good news is for. Don't you need good news? Our people need good news because we're on the bottom of society. Hallo, Bishop Nathaniel Israel over de identiteit van de nazaten van slaven. Vanaf de aankomst van de delegatie op 10 september worden er straatpredikingen gehouden op strategische plekken. De organisatie houdt vanavond een lezing in Theater Uniek over wie de kinderen van Israël zijn. De delegatie keert op 16 september terug naar de Verenigde Staten. Het verslag was van Sisma Bississer.